to work has been in place in Michigan since 2012. Repealing the law would be a national landmark for organized labor. And it's incredibly rare, actually, for any state to reverse a right to work law once it has been enacted. It hasn't happened in decades and decades. Michael Oswalt is a law professor at Wayne State University focusing on labor and employment law. He says the repeal would be a major shift in labor trends across the country, but it wouldn't have a direct impact on most workers. In Michigan, only about 15% of workers are covered by a collective bargaining agreement at all. Labor and employment lawyer Richard Mack says studies have shown the repeal could mean more money in those workers' pockets. They've looked at right-to-work states, and those workers in those states make $1,600 less per year. He says right-to-work allows people to benefit from union bargaining, union accountants and lawyers, while other workers foot the bill. Republicans always say, you shouldn't get something for nothing. They beat up on welfare mothers and everyone else who they feel wrongly are getting something for nothing. But yet they are the main champions of a bill which allows freeloading. Hypocrites. You know, there is a way to solve this issue of the free rider. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone really wants to solve that issue and they just kind of want to dig in their corner. Wendy Block is with the Michigan Chamber of Commerce and does not support the repeal. We're worried uh, that if Michigan repeals its right to work state, that we are hanging a close sign around the state of Michigan and that we are going to be hamstrung in this race for new jobs. John Manor with the Associated Builders of Southeastern Michigan agrees. He says their group and others opposed to the repeal aren't giving up the fight. We'll probably be getting together, doing a little organizing of their own. And I think what you will see result from this is a ballot initiative to put uh, right to work into Michigan's constitution so that it cannot be repealed easily. As it stands, the Michigan House and Senate have approved the bill. Once the language is finalized, Governor Whitmer has said she intends to sign it into law. Reporting for CBS News Detroit, I'm Kelly Vaughn.